What is up, you bunch of Kirk fucks? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy here, and welcome everybody to another IndyCar Diecast review. And as you can probably probably tell by that very uh, colorful introduction, uh, we're gonna be doing a Diecast review that I just recently picked up. If you guys, well, first of all, if you haven't seen my haul video, what the hell are you doing? Watch that shit before you watch this because you might get spoiled of what this car is, even though it's in the title. But today it's gonna be on uh, a Diecast that is a first for uh, Green Lake Collectibles in the 164 line for Indy cars, and it is on Captain Kirk, guys, also known as your 2023 Long beach winner kyle kirkwood and his number 27 auto nation honda for andretti autosports and as you guys can see this car is also autographed but it's also was taken out of the box as well um which by the way stay tuned for the uh, youtube short video of how you guys can unbox this die cast without damaging the packaging but see right here the auto nation colors are back but in the new look for uh the new driver of the 27 car replacing alexander rossi kyle kirkwood and you can see there is the uh new uh redesigned packaging for green light collectibles nothing too special pretty plain jane but i do like that they added the color of the livery on here and kyle kirkwood's autograph is shown right here because i did got this on legends day in row five and there's the back and there's a little indication of how you guys open up this uh, die cast but um stay tuned for that as like i said and um he is a florida native so how about that so if you guys want to do some reading time go ahead and pause the video but for anybody else let's go ahead and start the die cast view and the official unboxing of the captain kirk car of kyle kirkwood and his 2023 auto nation car and all right guys we got this die cast out with box and my god this is such a cool livery guys i mean anybody who's a big fan of uh what was it the meyer shank cars and also um some of the auto nation die casts that we've had in the past with alexander rossi stay tuned for the sub second comparison because we'll begin to add second um this bright magenta pink is back although when you uh, on camera right now it looks like a bright magenta pink Pink, but like it just depends on your lighting guys because like i'm looking at this right now in the naked eye and it's more like giving off like a purple magenta vibe but you see it's a nice hot pink and yeah i mean you guys probably wonder why the auto nation die cast always have the pink um it's because they have something to do you see with this uh pink license plate right here it says dry pink they are a huge partner i mean first of all you're probably wondering what auto nation is but um what i was trying to say is that they are a huge partner of, of supporting uh, cancer awareness, so that's the reason why they drive the pink cars, and that's why you see them with Andretti Autosport and with Meyer Shank for these last several years now, and I'm so glad that we finally got an AutoNation diecast with this. I mean, the Meyer Shank cars are cool, but I was really excited to pick this up because it's a Kyle Kirkwood diecast, guys. The first of many new Indy cars that we got for this year for the driver lineup, and once again, guys, Greenland Collectibles just does a great job with the diecast that is still $10 with rubber tires, metal chassis, and really cool uh details in the uh in, in this uh in the suspension and everything like that guys i mean there's not really much going on right there with the suspension here there's no fancy chrome uh suspension or anything like that but we do have ourselves a nice little chrome nose that is pretty iconic with the andretti autosport and the chrome um honda logo so really nice details of course the aero screen still has some issues with some uh you know the, the quality as you see right here it kind of almost looks like a raced version this might be uh i would say this would be the long beach winner but as you see this is on the oval package and if everybody's wondering no green light does not make uh you know they only make the oval kits on the indy cars because you know the indy 500 is the most popular uh <laughs> race for indy cars so that's the reason why but um they do have 18 scales of the road courses but man i, I would have loved a road course kit coming out soon for 164s um we've had at we have asked about it so maybe green light will listen and we'll probably we'll get a late release of those maybe or probably for next year um i'm always open-minded and see what green light collectibles can offer but um definitely i would say the best diecast quality that you can get for ten dollars because this right here pretty darn awesome guys i mean green light still has their issues like there are some coloring issues uh, with some of their cars but this uh, Kyle Kirkwood diecast, no exceptions, really cool. And this is a good example of just uh, of a driver who has worked his way up in the ranks of uh, the IndyCar series, guys. He, um, as you guys know, he was, um, I, I believe, let's see here as I'm actually, I'm going to cheat a little bit and actually look at the card right here. So it looks like uh, he was on, uh, he is one of the graduates for the Road to Indy series. Um, he won the 2018 USF 2000 championship, followed by in 2019 um and uh for for the indy pro 2000 championship and then he also became your indy lights i'm sorry your indy next champion in 2021 and then of course he raced full time last year with aj Foyt, which didn't really got much out of it but uh this year man especially at long beach when he started on the pole in this car guys there was just a lot of people are like okay andretti might be back and boy they were kyle kirkwood put on one hell of an ass whooping that got him you know probably i would say the second most important race um in his racing career i mean besides indy 500 right and he had a good shot of winning at this year's indy 500 he was probably the best in 
that probably could have had a shot. But we all know what happened at the Indy 500 this year, guys. He got into that very vicious wreck where his left rear got hit by uh, Felix Rosenquist. And um, speaking of the devil, uh, tune in uh, pretty soon for that name because we might be doing a very special diecast review on some of those McLaren Indy cars. But, um, yeah, we all know that story with Kyle Kirkwood, and that's probably the reason why I'm showcasing this video because... Uh, First of all, I'm so glad to hear Kyle Kirkwood is all right because if it wasn't for this thing right here, the arrow screen, um, you, I mean, you guys saw the onboard camera, guys. You saw uh, the sparks that were flying because Kyle Kirkwood's car was basically like this after uh, after crash into turn two. All right, <laughs> that arrow screen pretty much saved him, and all he saw was just sparks in his eyes. That's the worst that probably happened to him. Well, probably the worst thing that happened was that tire in the left rear literally falling off and flying into over the grandstand. Um, that is just something I never want to see again. Thank the Lord that it landed on a car, but just, yeah, I got the Indy 500, man. This year's Indy 500 was something to remember, but, uh, Kyle Kirkwood is definitely already setting up a name for himself in the, the, in the IndyCar series. Um, well, well, I'm uploading this video, or I'm actually recording this video right before the Detroit race, so who knows, maybe he could pull out another one out of his ass and win that Detroit race, but uh, we'll, we'll see how things will go, guys. I'm a little skeptical, but we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, let's get on to the side-side comparison now of some of the AutoNation diecast, which I'm going to be showcasing last year's, because last year's was kind of a weird uh, livery, because it was like a collaborative scheme, and... Um, definitely wasn't a no bueno. So as you can see, the pink is definitely a lot more darker compared to last year's. So if you guys are a big fan of the All Nation cars, then this is definitely one to get as my camera does not want to focus in. There's just so much going on in this review. But the scheme looks a lot more cleaned up. I like that they added the spikes right here. Um, it seems like that's what their new livery design is for the Andretti's. So really nice. Uh, this is the only Andretti diecast I did pick up. I mean, they had Romain Grosjean's uh, DHL car and Colt Herta's uh, what is it, Gainbridge? But this is the one I had to pick up. I'll probably pick up the rest because I have collected every single Indy card 164 since uh, 2016, I think. But uh, as you can see, guys, yeah, the pink is a lot more brighter and vibrant. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, th this car is cool and all, but just I like how simple and clean this looks. I mean, last year's with Rossi's, I understand that it seems like Napa and All Nation could really couldn't come to terms of like who wanted to sponsor more, so they came up with the collaborative paint scheme. It was cool, but just I don't know. Th there's something about that Napa blue that just does not go well with the with the pink and white, just it was just a weird livery and probably one of my least favorite liveries from last year. And then we're also going to go on to uh, the 2020 car, which is pretty much just a plain Jane car. I mean, an absolute just, uh, this is probably the best AutoNation diecast that you can get besides the Meyer Shane cars because, my God, they have just stepped up in their livery department because this right here is pretty darn cool. I like it a lot. As this is pretty much a dated paint scheme and it looks pretty dull and lifeless. I mean, it still is nice and all. It's probably a rare car to get nowadays. But the Kyle Kirkwood diecast is just so much better, guys. No disrespect to Alexander Rossi, but this diecast is just absolutely beautiful. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comments, guys. Are you willing to pick up this diecast? I say definitely. It is, especially for anybody who is new to collecting indie cars. Probably would be one I would recommend since it is a first time for Kyle Kirkwood. But comment below what you guys think, as this is going to be OBB, the diecast news guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this diecast review on the Kyle Kirkwood 2023 uh, AutoNation Honda for Andretti Autosport. Can't like, subscribe. This has been OBB. I'll see you guys next time on another diecast review. And uh, remember, guys, cancer sucks. Dry pink.